Um, yes. Right. Which is okra. Okra. Yeah, and that's um, something you don't. Uh, uh, when you are, I was like, you know, what I have to do this just because so many people. It's one of those things that people just kind of like, you know, in the grocery store, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of you know, just stay away from there. Uh, you don't find okra on menus, you know, in restaurants, you know, um, yeah. and obviously because a lot of people just don't know how to cook it properly or how to okay. or or even know if they even knew the health benefits and the advantages of okra mm -hmm. um, but I mean okra is soul food um, it comes from Africa uh, it came over to the North Americas during the slave trades um, but I mean okra is so important because okra is gumbo right so it's it's soul food at the same time but it's a superfood okra has really 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 high things of like for breaking down sugar so if you're a diabetic this is something that you want to have in your in your in your you know day to day or even you know a few times a week in so your it's menu. a staple in our mediterranean diet mediterranean cuisine very well known around the world south asia i mean our yeah. blue zones right. our blue zones Icaria, right. Right. greek island right. Right. Well, a lot of people don't like to work with it so hopefully i can show you a different technique you're going to you convince everyone it. today listen an olympic athlete eats it yeah you're going to learn how to eat it you're going to learn first of all how to cook it cook it okay. and how to prepare it in, in, in a nice stew um that she um uh, she, she was telling about and then and I was like you know what I can put my own little twist and things that I like that's too. So, what I love about you chef. Yeah. Uh, you might see that I have avocado avocado and tomatoes the creaminess of it it just works right because after we put it in the oven yes and a lot of benefits from avocado <laughs> because avocado doesn't get used a lot I mean millennials start throwing it on toast and you know I want to throw it into our, our gumbo, right <laughs> um, we have some um, potatoes and we have some baby onions okay. we also have some bay leaves uh, we have some smoked paprika Mm -hmm. That's going to give it something. And we have some uh, black pepper, mm. salt, ginger, garlic, okay. and uh, some green peas. Green peas for me in a tomato stew just works. I just, I, I, love, I, that I love it. I love okay. it. And we have some uh, uh, parsley and some microgreens to go on later. Okay, so how are we going to begin? So let's start. Let's start off by cutting up our onions. Okay. All right. And I'm going to, at the same time, start on my side okay. because the best way for okra. What you want to do is you, some people deep fry them or fry them, but I mean, for me, I'm going to keep them whole and I'm going to fry them lightly. And then I'm going to keep a hole and add it into our stew. And then it's going to cook off and thicken up our sauce when it's in the oven. Now, there's something I want to show by cutting them. <clears throat> so if I slice one right down the middle, mm -hmm. okay? Now, I can already feel it, okay? And just by cutting it in half, I already did cut some of the seeds. So you see this? This is what gives that gelatinous, mm -hmm. okay, of that ooey gooey mucus feeling that we, I'm touching right now <laughs> on my finger, right? Okay. Now, it's coming from the seeds. So if you don't want to have your food to be that much good, you can remove the seeds. But the seeds acts as a thickening agent um, that's going to help thicken our sauce. Okay. okay. Good tip. Okay. Bravo. Okay. 